morning everybody, this is Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com coming to you, not making a brew, just for some observations because at the moment there seems to be a lot of people in the world that are stressing, worrying, being very concerned and confused about what's going on in the world. These clients, these students, these friends, these people who contact me through my Facebook Messenger or because of the post that I put on TikTok, Instagram, Vimeo, YouTube. They come on and they tell me the story and I'm honored and I want that to continue. But ultimately, here's a message to you and to all of them, and this is what I say to them, that you, you watching this, not you, Buddha, <laughs> you know this, I've learned a lot from you, but you watching this are not your story. That's gone. That's the past. What's here is now. That's all there is now. And the reason that those things happened in your past, these stories that we hang on to and my clients and friends and all these people I've talked to want to tell me, the reason those things happened is because they did. Now there's lots of counseling and analysis and mediation processes you can go to where you can look at that story and discuss those problems and analyze where those problems came from and how you feel with those problems and what you're gonna do with these problems and how can we get rid of those problems. But that's a problem based process that I don't take people through. In fact, what I say, and what I'm gonna to say to you now is, stop telling those stories. If you want to tell me everything about your life and what created the situation that you're in now that you want me to help you with and heal you from, which I can, tell me the story and then make that the last time you tell that story. Tell me the story and make sure that I'm the last person that you relate that story to. Stop telling that story. Let's create a new story. Because a story, your story, her story, his story, is exactly that, it's your history. So many people, when you meet people in Thailand or wherever you go in your world, wherever you go in the world, even if you go down the pub, if you can go to the pub, we lock down and everything, but when you go back to the pub or the coffee shop or the post office or wherever you go, and you meet somebody that you haven't seen for a while and they go, what are you doing? And out come your stories. And people say to me, where are you from? What do you do? And out come the stories. People want to know your story. And the minute you start telling the story, people start judging you. You know, if I said I was a brain surgeon <laughs> or a taxi driver, nothing wrong with brain surgeons or taxi drivers, but how would they judge me? What did you do in the UK? And the minute I say, well, I used to work for the AA and I'm a hypnotist, they go, ooh. But if I was to say, well, I worked in a laundrette, nothing wrong with working in laundrettes, or I was a, a road sweeper, or a burger flipper in McDonald's, and I'm not judging any of those, but you get the idea. Because with all those things, these stories, and you've already judged them, and you've probably judged me for saying that, we go into judgment, people go into judgment. So stop telling stories. It's of no interest. And if it is of interest to other people, that's your past. Why do people want to know about your past? So they can judge you. And your past, you judge yourself. It just is what it is. When people say to me, what do you do, Mike? I say, I am an explorer of consciousness. I'm interested in energy people and I live in the now and the past is irrelevant and then they think well he's a weirdo and I'm happy with that judgment because I am a weirdo because that's weird that's unusual I don't want to be usual I want to be unusual I don't want to be in a rut I don't want to go along and get along I want to stand out and be outstanding so I don't tell the stories of the past the minute I tell people that I've had a spine injury or a mini stroke, which is all true, how did they judge me? And what did they think I am? And they'd get it wrong, wouldn't they? Those things don't define me. And your past doesn't define you. But do you believe that? Are you still blaming the past? 
Are you still justifying where you are now because of what people did to you or what you did to yourself or what you didn't do or what you did do? Because it's irrelevant. So the message here really is live in the now and stop telling those stories. Put them down and start again. And stop regretting the world that is now because the old world, the old normal, isn't the now normal and it won't be the new normal. And if you regret it or you miss it and you worry about the new normal, wherever this society is taking us, you'll never find peace and happiness. And watching this now, everything's fine, isn't it? Carry that feeling that everything is fine around with you all day. Find peace with what you've got. Do the very best with what you've got right now. Let the past go. That's your history. That's an old story. Create a new story and go forward with that. And that's exciting and that's empowering and that's peaceful. And that will make you healthy, happy and successful, which is what I'm all about. Stop telling your stories. Reinvent yourself. And I'm always here to help. And I know I can help you, and all you have to do is inbox me. But I'm not here to listen to your old stories. I'm here to help you and empower you, create a new wonderful story, and enjoy a wonderful new life, which you can, because you have a powerful mind, and when you use your mind, you're unlimited. Be unlimited, create a new story, reinvent yourself, and have a wonderful day. God bless.